Hey guys, welcome to the third episode of Peak in the Kitchen. Today we're lucky enough to be uh, here with former Top Chef contestant Carl Dooley. What's up? Here at the table at Season to Taste. So Carl's going to give us a little bit of insight into what it's like to kind of mix international flavors, some French technique, which we'll get into a little bit later. Uh, so Carl, tell us what we're cooking today. Uh, well, today we're going to make a uh, tomato salad. Uh, it's the end of summer here in New England. Um, we're really lucky and fortunate enough to work with fantastic farmers. The tomatoes have been awesome this year. So we're going to make a uh, marinated tomato, tomato salad, uh, drawing some inspiration from some uh, Indian flavors. So, um, you know, here at the table, we love to sort of take a global approach to cuisine, where we're always drawing inspiration from really the food that we like to eat and try to translate that on the plate. So we're going to make a cool uh, heirloom tomato salad with roasted shrimp, and pickled mangoes, and cashews, and just a bunch of awesome stuff in there. Sounds healthy and sounds delicious. Yeah. And I am ready. I know you guys are, so let's get cooking. Let's do it. So to start with this dish, we're going to, you know, really just starts with just awesome tomatoes. So these are some really cool local tomatoes from Cable Fruit Farm here in Massachusetts. And it's always nice just to have a selection of different tomatoes so you get some different color, flavors. Yeah, so you got the yellow in there, you got the red. Yeah, so exactly. Like, I've never seen this tomato. Tell me a little bit, it's like multicolored. Yeah, so this is a uh, red zebra. Uh, it's in like the family of like green zebra. Um, these are pretty cool uh, pineapple tomatoes. And then some of these are the uh, just like kind of a classic brandy wine. Yeah. And they all kind of taste a little bit different. Yeah. You know, it's nice just to have a nice mix. Colors and flavors, too. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I'm trying to get that contrast. So. Yeah, so speaking of color and flavors, tell me a little bit about you. You like to mesh a lot of international flavors together. Tell me a little bit about what specific international flavors you're yeah, inspired I mean, by cooking. Okay. Um, you know, I think it all starts, the way in our menu really all starts with what we like to eat. Um, so thinking about tomato you know, salad and trying to stuff that's a little bit different. Um, and this was really inspired by some Indian flavors, uh, Indian foods that are very good to eat. So um, the different spices and the different texture, uh, pickled mango is like a, a condiment you see oftentimes in uh, southern India. Yeah. So when we were thinking about some different you know, spices and different flavors to sort of you know, pair with the tomatoes, that came into our head and we sort of went through it and we were able to come up with some of that to eat. So, yeah. um, so the tomatoes we season with a little bit of salt and then yeah. some of the spice mix. This is like a curry spice mix, so here it is. Um, yeah, exactly. We're big into the chilies around here. Oh, so this yeah. is uh, some kind of yeah, so some cashmere chili, um, fennel, coriander, fenugreek, uh, just a bunch of goodies in there. Um, so we'll start with just a range of the tomatoes. So you've already started playing. The tomatoes go with like the base. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. So we want to get these nice and seasoned, and we're going to kind of build everything on top of these, and then sort of layering the flavor. So as you go through, it's almost like a little adventure. You get right. All these different. So while we're kind of into preparation, I want to kind of pick your brain a little bit. Yeah. Tell me what it was like to be on Top Chef, and what did you learn? Uh, what do you use today? Uh, to be on Top Chef? Yeah, Top Chef was an awesome experience. Um, I was really lucky. I got to compete with a bunch of really talented chefs from across the country. Um, and for me, I think the biggest thing that I learned was you have to make your food stand out, whether it's in a competition against 16 other talented chefs, or if it's in a city with as many awesome restaurants as, as Boston is. You have to really find ways to sort of tell your story through food and make it something that differentiates yourself from the competition. Right. So, you know, I think here we're lucky to, to really have a small, unique space and an awesome team. We really just try to make food that we think is really thoughtful and really, um, really energetic. I love that. Yeah, so we added some uh, pickled mangoes to this. And these are some uh, pickled peppers as well. You know, even though tomatoes have some natural, the natural acidity, it's always nice to pair them with sort of sweet and sour components. Of so we have our little peppers on there. And then we have some roasted shrimp that we also we season it also with sort of like a, a curry type spice. This is like a, a vinaigrette with mango juice and lime juice. It gives it kind of a fun. That citrus flavor and freshness. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, summertime, you want to eat something that's fresh and bright, but also has a little bit of depth. So is this a, a Carl creation? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is something that you know we, we sort of had the idea for, and then as a team we worked through and we got something that that we think is really tasty. Um, I think you know with tomatoes, it's always great to have a little bit of contrast texturally. So we have some uh, spiced cashews to put on top. This also gives the dish a little bit of fat. Everything is pretty light. It's also protein. Sort of, 
yeah, it just gives it, it sort of grounds it a little bit. Yeah. Um, and then to top off here, uh, you know, tomatoes and basil is such a classic combination, but we like to use uh, Thai basil. Uh, just, I mean, it has a, it's a little bit more of a distinct aroma, uh, and it's just a little bit more interesting. It's something that you would see in a lot of Southeast Asian countries. Yeah, you, you know, it gives it some color, but, you know, more importantly, it just tastes awesome. So, so yeah, here we go. You want to eat it? Do I want to I was hoping you would say that. Yeah. <laughs> well. Cool, yeah. Let me, um, yeah, we'll take it over to the table. Of course, yeah. If you could pick one thing that you've learned from Top Chef that you carry over every single day into working as a chef, what would it be? Uh, I think it's really just having a having a good attitude and really being happy in the kitchen. Uh, it sounds kind of corny, but um, you know, I, I really believe that in order to make great food, you have to be in a really positive state of mind. And the show was so stressful, and I think the times that I made the best food was the times where I was able to really relax and be positive and be excited. And uh, but I, I feel like we're really lucky here at the restaurant. We have a great team, and, and we're able to have a really positive energy in here all day. And I think that comes through in our food and the experience that we're able to deliver to our guests. Well, you feel lucky, and I know that I feel lucky, and you also feel lucky to have had Carl Julie on our show. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again, Carl, for having us here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to dig in and come to table at Season of Taste. Enjoy Carl's amazing food as soon as you can. Bye, guys. Adios.